Yeah, I like the job actually. I like, I like, um, I like talking to people. I quite like doing the tenor announcements. Could Kevin Lyons please return to the switchboard? Could Kevin Lyons return to the switchboard? Thank you. <laughs> no, I, I was not born blind. I was not born blind. My sight loss has been from when I was born. I was uh, born three months premature and lost my eyesight because I was given too much oxygen. Um, too much anaesthetic. Which triggered off immaculate degeneration. The hardest thing I've had to overcome in life is sight loss. Um, you never ever accept it, but you have to just deal with it in the best way that you can. It's easy to sit back and say, oh, I'm blind, I can't do this, I can't see that. But I said, no, I want to get up, I want to get on with life. Being visually impaired, you, you need a focus and you need to be doing something. I get to work via public transport. I have to get a bus and then a tube. I then go to Euston on the Northern Line. On the District Line, the Piccadilly Line. And then a bus and it takes... It's between an hour and 15 minutes, an hour and a half. An hour and 15 minutes to get to work. I found that a lot of employers um, are reluctant to take on board vision impaired people. A blind person with disabilities or somebody disabled can often give loyalty and can be very good at timekeeping because they realise how valuable the job is. My dad's attitude was, get out there, son, get a job, earn your money. I don't really see it as the money. It's more like, it's more like, because um, we're like, more like a family. Oh, if people can't see, everyone thinks the worst, you know, but we are, we're not silly, you know, um, you know and we can be trained. Um, it just takes a little bit longer at times, that's all. I'm very much for employers taking on disabled people. You know, employers need encouragement to take disabled people on. Having a job at the Soco company has changed my life immensely. And I mean, I was at rock bottom 12, 12 years ago, sort of 11 and a half years ago. And I, I, I would say I'm very, I'd say I'm more like, I don't know what they call it, top, but I'm, I'm at, I don't think you can get any, well, I don't think you can get any higher than I am. Um, I wasn't happy, I'm happy. I didn't have a companion, now I've got a dog. I was in debt, now I'm not. If you could give Soapco a message now, imagine you were looking down the lens and they were watching this video back, what would you like to say to them? I would like to say to Soapco, thank you. An employer must see a disabled person as an asset rather than a hindrance. Um, taking a disabled person on, see them as a human being rather than just look at their disability. You, you just do what normal people do, you just, you know, get on with life. I like doing a proper roast dinner with, with the spuds and stuff, but I must admit I cheat, I use the Aunt Bessie's, but the trick with that is to put a bit of oil in the pan first and then they come up really crispy.